Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful slipper. It's so easy. You will shock <laughs> when you uh, watch this video. Uh, and it looks so intermediate. So uh, if you're a starter, just make it and show off. Okay? <laughs> everyone will praise you. For this one, I use this yarns Etrofil, a Yonja baby, uh, that's a velvet yarn. Uh, I use it for the sole. And for the rest, I use this one, Nako Spatial Mega. Both of them are category 6 yarns, but not so thick ones. Uh, you can use a thicker category 5 or thinner category 6. Um, if you want to make it bigger, you can use a little bit thicker yarn. Or smaller, use a little bit uh, thinner yarn. It's, it's a simple way. Uh, if you want to use a similar yarn, I'm going to explain you in the video how to make it, how to adjust it. I use a six millimeter hook with them and one ball from each of them will be fairly enough uh, for uh, two pairs. I made this one for size 38. Actually it will fit 37, 38 and 39. Uh, it's European size of course. Uh, for the English system, it's a four uh, and a half, five and six. For the American system, it's seven, eight, eight and a half. Okay. Of course, it's up to your hands' uh, tightness uh, a little bit. Uh, just try the sole, uh, and if it fits to your uh, foot, and it will not be too tight. It will be a little bigger than your um, feet. You can see it, not too much, of course. So if it becomes a little big, don't uh, worry about it. And I hope you like this tutorial too. If you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's totally free. You can find the subscribe button on below. And if you are ready, we can start now. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how to make this sole at first. And we are going to make two soles for each size. Okay, I have two here. I made one, we are going to make one more and join them together, then make the rest. Because I want to make here a little bit thicker than a regular one. And I'm using a, a velvet yarn, so it will be softer. I'm going to start with 19 chains. I will show you with this one. That's where our fingers start and that's where our toes start. We are going to make chains between them okay 19 for good for me it's actually 18 plus 1 for a turning chain if you want to make it bigger uh, like 40 a uh, size 40 41 you can add two chains or smaller you can make a uh, less chains like two chain less by the way, that's 35. This food size is 35 and it fits it too. Uh, if you want to start with a different number, the uh, important part is here and here. Okay, You're going to make these increases here like I do in the video, like I'm going to do. Okay. This increases part is important. For example, if you start with two more chains, 
uh, while you are making here it will be same just make increases here just make increases here okay when you reach the, uh, this third row you're gonna make the increases then you will have uh, I think nine single crochets three half double crochets four double crochets then increases okay if you have two more stitches here just add one more single crochet here make ten single crochet for example and one more double crochet here make five double crochet okay don't change here don't touch here I'm gonna give you one more example for example if you um, start with five more chains okay you can give more of them in to this single crochet part add three single crochets here one half double crochet here one double crochet here because uh, this part will be longer than here mostly so you can make, uh, add more stitches here this part and make the rest same with me now we can make the solid as i told you i made the first one start with a slip knot Make 19 chains. Okay. If you are a new beginner, it could be a little hard to see where will you insert with this velvet yarn. So, a you can use um, this kind of yarn if you want not so soft yarn uh, you can try it uh, with this and if you are okay you can make it make a pair with velvet yarn too later okay now skip this first stitch insert into this next chain Put two single crochets, yarn over, pull through two, insert, pull through two. Okay, I made two single crochets here. Then insert into the chain, put a single crochet, and we are gonna put one single crochet into each chain. Two, three, four five six fourteen fifteen sixteen into this first stitch we made two single crochets then we made 16 single crochets in a row then into this last stitch we're gonna make four single crochets One, two, three, four. Now we're going to use same chains and put one single crochet into each of them till this last chain. Make 16. When you reach to the end into this last stitch you are gonna put two more single crochets now insert into this first stitch join with the slip stitch chain one and into this same stitch you're gonna put two single crochets one two Then we are going to make 
18 single crochets in a row till we reach here. You see this top two single crochets, we are gonna make increases from here. So make single crochets as you have. Just leave this top two. When you reach here, you are going to put two and two. One, two, one, two. Into same stitch. Make 18 more single crochets. 18. And into this last stitch. That's not a stitch, that's our slip stitch. Okay, and that's the chain. Now into this last stitch, make two single crochets, insert and join from this first stitch. Chain one. Into the same stitch, put two single crochets. Into the next two single crochets, into the next two single crochets. Then make nine single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once we complete nine single crochets, we are going to make three half double crochets. Yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull through all. Two, three. Now we are going to make four uh, double crochets. Yarn over, Insert, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, two, three, four. Now into this next six stitches. We are going to put two double crochets. We will make increases six times. Two double crochet into same stitch. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Make five double crochets. Sorry, four double crochets. Let me check. Yeah, four double crochets, three half double crochets, one, two, three, nine single crochets. You will have three stitches left. Make increases, two single crochets into same place. One, two, three times. And join from the first stitch. Chain one. 
into the same stitch, this first stitch, put one single crochet. Into the next, put two. One, two. Next, one single crochet. Next, two. Then make 12 single crochets uh, in a row. One, two, four, five, six, Three half double crochets five double crochets one two three four five You see, uh, that's my first increase from this previous row. That's the second ones. Second ones, first stitch here. Okay. I'm gonna make some increases for this three stitch. I'm gonna make two double crochets into same stitch. One, two. That's the first one. Second, third. Into these next two stitches, I'm going to put only one double crochet. One into the first, and one more into the second stitch. Then make three increases again. One, two, three, five double crochets in a row. Three half double crochets, twelve single crochets, you will have four loops one, two, three, four. Into this first one, put two single crochets. Next, only one. Next, two. And next, one. Insert into this first stitch. Join with this slip stitch. At the end of this row, you will have 66 stitches. Now I'm going to put these two together. That's the back side of my work. That's the front side. Okay, front side. Insert into this next stitch here. And you see, that's where I join. I'm gonna insert from this next stitch, make a slip stitch. 
insert both loops make a slip stitch We will join all the stitches with slip stitch and you will have 66 slip stitches in the end. Uh, if you have one less, one more, don't worry about it. We can fix it later. Just join them. I'll meet you at the end. I made the last one now. Cut this yarn. Insert under this first slip stitch. And insert into the last one here. And hide the tail. Grab the second color. I'm gonna start from the middle. That's our first slip stitch. Actually, insert under it. make a chain and put a single crochet in the same place. Into the next I'm hiding the tail too because it will be hard to uh, hide them later. I'm working around it. Okay, under the next slip stitch, put a single crochet. Okay, we are going to put one single crochet under each slip stitch. In the end, you will have 66 single crochets. Sixty-three. The four, five, and six. If you have one more or less slip stitch, you can skip 
one or you can put two single crochet into same slip stitch join with this slip stitch chain one starting from this same stitch make 14 single crochets I made 14 now we are gonna make two decreases I'm gonna show you two ways for the starters you can directly insert into this next stitch grab the loop insert into the next grab the loop yarn over and pull through all that's our decrease but this looks better so try this one insert from this first loop and from the next stitch first loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two make it one more time that's the first empty stitch grab the first loop first loop now that's my next stitch here starting from here I'm gonna put 30 single crochets once we complete 30 single crochets we are gonna make two decreases again Starting from the next, make 14 single crochets. Fourteen. Join the slip stitch. If you have another ball, do not cut your yarn from here. But I'm gonna cut it to show you how to join it later. If you want you can put a stitch marker here that's our first stitch we are gonna start from here again now we're gonna make this front part yeah for this front part top part we are gonna make exact same things what we made for here chain 7 if you are making a bigger size you can add one or two more chains uh, if you are making 35 36 you can make one less chain and while we are making here we are gonna make single crochet increases for two rows a double crochet and increases for two rows and you will just uh, if you add two uh, chains you will just add two more double crochets two more single crochets that's all skip this first stitch insert into the next put a single crochet two three four five into this last chain I'm gonna put four one two three four now make five more single crochets
chain one, turn. Now one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets we are gonna make. Six. We are gonna make increases from this top two stitches. If you have more chains, just make single crochets and into this top stitch, put two. Then make six single crochets again. chain two and do not count this as a stitch insert into this first stitch and put a double crochet and we are gonna make sorry let me see we are gonna make four more double crochets It's totally five double crochets, okay? Do not count these two chains. Now we are gonna make six increases. One, two, three, four, Five, six, then make five double crochets. Chain two, turn. Starting from this first stitch, make seven double crochets. And this next three stitches, make increases. One. Two, three increases. Put two single uh, double crochets in a row into the next stitch. Put one, three increases. And make seven double crochets. Now we are going to join them together. Before starting joining, we will need two stitch markers. Uh, that's our starting point. Count 18. And that's my 18th stitch. Okay. And start to count from here, this last stitch. Count 18 and that's the 18th stitch. Between these two stitch markers, here there is 26 stitches. If you count these two, two, it's 28. Okay. Now 
we're going to start to join from here. Insert into the stitch with the stitch marker. Just leave the yarn behind your work. Insert from this stitch back loop and this one's front loop. We are going to use inside loops, okay? Grab the yarn. Pull through and make a slip stitch. Insert into the next one. Inside loops. Slip stitch. Slip stitch. And keep joining with this way. Join all the stitches together till the end. I'll meet you there. I'm making the last two. Make one more chain. Cut the yarn. Now we are going to join from this first stitch. And uh, make Starting from this first stitch, make 16 uh, single crochets. Now I have one stitch left. And for here we don't have stitches, as you know, we have double crochets and single crochets. Around a double crochet, we are going to make two single crochets. Around the single crochet, we are going to make only one single crochet. So we are going to make a decrease here. We will start with a decrease. Insert into this last stitch, pull up a loop, and insert around this double crochet, this side double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all. And into here, Put one more single crochet. We have a double crochet here. Put two single crochets. Two single crochet rows. Put one. Two single crochets. So we made one, two, three, four, five. After this decrease, okay, five. Make five more. One, two, I'm gonna hide this one too. So that's our double crochet. Three, Four and five. It's totally ten between two degrees. I'm gonna make one more right now. Insert around this double crochet, pull up a loop, insert into this first stitch, pull up a loop, pull through all. Then make sixteen single crochets. I made 16, join, chain 1. We are going to make 15 single crochets this time. We 
when you complete 15 we're gonna make a decrease insert into this next stitch front loop and next one's front loop grab the yarn make a decrease and starting from this next stitch make 10 single crochets Ten. Make a decrease again. And fifteen single crochets. I'll meet you at the end. For this row, I'm gonna start with a decrease. Chain one. Make a decrease, then make one more. Ten single crochets. Ten. A decrease. Ten single crochets. A decrease ten single crochets once you complete this ten single crochets you will have four loops left make two decreases Join. chain one and make 11 single crochets a decrease 10 single crochets a decrease again and 11 single crochets meet you at the end join with a slip stitch chain one and for this row we are gonna put one single crochet into each stitch without any decreases you will have 34 stitches if you start with same numbers with me if you're not just put single crochets meet you at the end then join with a slip stitch and we are gonna make slip stitches put one slip stitch till you reach here this part okay you see that's where I made my decreases make one more slip stitch and we're gonna make slip stitch again but we, we are gonna make it from here okay it could be a little hard to show you but I will try it. Insert into the next space. Make a slip stitch. We are gonna reach here. So I'm gonna insert into here. Sorry. 
I made four slip stitches, then cut the yarn. Insert under this um, slip stitch, this joining slip stitch, and insert into this last one. Now hide the tail. When we complete this side, we are going to start from here again. Make slip stitches till you reach to the decreases. Now that's where I made my decreases. I'm gonna make one more slip stitch keep going there is no specific place to insert just go this way okay two three <laughs> I couldn't find the yarn. Okay. Four. And make the same thing under this first slip stitch here. Last, sorry, slip stitch. Then hide this tail. Now we're going to make some slip stitches for here and here for the stop part you can insert from here make slip stitch cut the yarn and hide it it's easy i'm gonna show you this one insert you see this line that's my first single crochet row i'm gonna use this uh, single crochet stitch Okay, first single crochet rows stitch. and make the last one and just hide this tail okay make here too and now we are gonna make this stitch and we will finish Please follow my hands closely.
and that's all. Hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Series Crochet is my Instagram address. It's also my website, Revelry, Etsy, Pinterest, Facebook. You can find me anywhere you want. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.